name out of his jobby and the amount of TNA and kill a kill is a threat to national security. I'm just here trying my best to enjoy the fun story and amazing animation when suddenly whoop, this shit happens all the fuck, it's time for fuck's sake. National security's got the shit, but what about your online security? That's where... Razer Surfshark VPN, which is available for pretty much everything. If you're also a 30-year-old degenerate living in your parents' garage, you might want to hide your online activity from mommy and daddy when you watch some shit like Kill a Kill. Now streaming on Netflix US. Surfshark will also protect your information from being sold to advertisers for targeted ads, but that's a bit too serious for my bit. Shut up. You know what's not streaming on Netflix US? The Ghibli films. A crime against cinema, on par with Anime Scrum. Using Surfshark VPN, set your location to anywhere you want, in this case anywhere that's not the US or Japan, and then now I can watch all my favorites like Spirited Away, Castle in the Sky, My Neighbor Totoro, which is kind of overrated. Get Surfshark VPN through the link in the description and use promo code JOBBY for an 85% discount and three extra months free! You could even set your location to Japan and watch Evangelion with Fly Me to the Moon at the end credits, which is essential to the Ava experience, but enough about Ava. For once in my life, the Figma Mako Mankanto from Kill a Kill as part of the Good Smile Company's long line of figures representing a variety of franchises that aren't Transformers, but are Evangelion. Let's see how this goes. This eyesore of a box features original artwork by Sushio, the brilliant character designer of the show. And according to GSC's website, Mako was transformed into a Figma under Sushio's complete supervision. And yeah, it shows. This coconut-headed creature is the most lively, expressive, show-accurate Figma I've ever seen, only rivaled by the ones from Madoka Magic. Magica. How long has it been since I've said Madoka Magica? The figure perfectly captures the raw and energetic quality of Sushio's artwork. She's making the Figma Ryuko and Satsuki look not bad exactly. Cause there's some bad bitches on their own. Just outdated. I'm hoping we get a Ryuko and Satsuki 2.0 at some point. If people still give a shit about Kill a Kill. I think it speaks to Sushio's genius that even through this fairly unremarkable design, Mako's beaming personality still shines through. I mean, superficially, it's just a girl in a uniform, whatever. Not whatever, you uncultured pig in human clothing. Mako Mankanshok is the goofy comic relief in an already goofy-ass show. Lovable, supportive, borderline obnoxious. She's basically the archetypal fat best friend. Except the only thing fat about Mako is her huge, round, supple head. About to turn on that Surfshark real quick, LMAO. Ah! The head sculpt and all her interchangeable faces are a thing of beauty. It's like Sushio himself tagged up my table. A fantastic three-dimensional translation of a two-dimensional design, which naturally comes with some downsides. Her face is flatter than mine. This cum bubble is detachable, but I don't recommend it. And the head is detachable to make way for this alternate head. The difference? This one can look all the way up. Plug in the South Park face and the included Figma stand. I recommend using the stand adapter, but whatever. Bit tight out of the box, but you could always loosen it up with the screwdriver. <laughs> This is the pose that sold me on the figure, I love it. Speaking of pose, I haven't used that transition in a while. She feels very sturdy for such a tiny toy. And the plastic isn't completely stiff. It's got a bit of bend to it. <laughs> Kinda like rubber, but not quite rubber. Mako's not much of an action-packed character. At least not until the later episode, spoiler. But you can get her into some action-packed poses. Erm, um, wait a minute. Is that... Yes, there's more than enough articulation to express her insane optimism. Whenever our protagonist Ryu goes in a pinch, Mako pulls this shit and gives some encouraging words. So here's some encouraging words. Shut the fuck up. Of course we couldn't get here without this serious face and this special pair of hands. You also get a pair of fists, peace signs, pointers, and grabbers. Which would allow you to grab this flagpole if the sticks were included. The flag itself is. As long as you're willing to literally tear it out of the box. I'm not comfortable doing that for some strange reason. You could say I don't have the... Guts? No, not that one. Guts the dog here has a little head swivel. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Uh, that reminds me, my ancient review of the Figma Ryukuma toy will forever have a special cursed place in my heart. That video gave bloody birth to an unholy demon of a running gag. And of course I'm talking about the- <laughs> oh, Come on, what a forced fucking meme. And in famous Figma fashion, a sandwich bag to put everything in. This is a great little figure, and it really makes me hope that the Good Smile Company gives Kill a Kill a second chance. But let's be brutally honest with ourselves. This franchise is as dead as my channel. Hey. Do we still have eyes on the target? Nah, bro. I think he might be using Surfshark VPN. Ugh, shit. 
then do we at least still have the aliens? Yes.